Mark and Bunny by Judith Kerr. Mark Bunny. One day, Mark got a present. Here you are, Mark," said Nikki. "This is for you. It's called Bunny." Mark liked Bunny. She carried him about. She played with him, and played with him. Meow. And played and played. And played with him. He was her best thing. Meow meow. When Mark came to have her supper, Bunny came too. Sometimes Mark thought Bunny would like a drink, but Bunny wasn't very good at drinking. Oh dear," said Debbie. "Look where Bunny's got to." Uh oh. And she put him on the radiator to dry. At night, Bunny slept with Mark in her basket. During the day, when Mark was busy, she she play always put Bunny somewhere nice. You never knew where Bunny would get to. Sometimes Bunny liked to be quiet and cozy, and sometimes he liked to be where there was a lot going on. Jump, jump, jump. Mr. and Mrs. Thomas didn't understand this. They didn't say, "Look where Bunny's got to!" They shouted, "Yuck!" And they yelled, "Ah! What a horrible, dirty thing!" And they threatened to throw Bunny away in the dustbin. Uh oh. One day, Mr. Thomas said, "Let's have supper in the garden." Everyone helped to carry things out of the house. It was a lovely supper. But suddenly, there was a crash of thunder, and it poured with rain. Quick inside! Shouted the Mrs. Thomas. It's bedtime anyway. Where's Mark? Said Debbie. I expect she's keeping dry under a bush. Said Mrs. Thomas. She will come in later. In the middle of the night, Debbie and Nikki woke up. Mark, Mark hadn't come in, and it was still pouring with rain. Let's go and find her," said Debbie. It was very dark in the garden. They shouted, "Mug, where are you, Mug?" But nothing happened. Where is Mug? Then they heard a mew. There she is! Shouted Nikki. Come on, Mug, come inside. But Mug just went on sitting in the rain. It was dripping. Of her nose. What's the matter, Mark? Said Debbie. Then she said, "Oh dear, look where Bunny's got to." Nikki picked Bunny up and showed him to Mark. "It's all right, Mark," he said. "We've set Bunny free. You can come inside now." Then they carried Bunny through the dark garden and through the house, and they put him on the radiator to dry. Oh yeah. Then they all had a big sleep. In the morning, they told Mrs. Thomas what had happened and how Mark had stayed with Bunny in the dark. And the rain, Debbie said, "You won't really throw Bunny away in the dustbin, will you?"
Mrs. Thomas said. No, never. It would make Mark too sad. And, she, and then she sighed and said, Perhaps Bunny is not quite so horrible. Now he's been washing by the rain. They all look on the radar. Radiator. Radiator. <coughs> but this is where Bunny had got to. Again. Yes. Hello. Okay. 希望对大家抄写绘本有所帮助。嗯，如果喜欢的话，就请去去京东、天猫、淘宝，等等亚马逊去购买正版。嗯嗯，希望高端开始多多学习与思考。莫里奇先生，刚刚开始，拜。